Casey, thank you very much for joining us here today. Um, firstly, what was the reaction like from fans and, uh, and the media when you decided to come out earlier this year? Was it what you expected? It wasn't what I was expected because obviously I thought in my head it was going to be a negative and it was complete opposite. It was really positive, actually really overwhelming. Um, I had thousands of um, tweets and messages of support and, and you know I was really overwhelmed actually. I wouldn't say it's changed the way I feel about playing. I love the game. This is the game that's changed my life. So I love football. Um, I think coming out has just made me feel more comfortable in myself, more happy in myself. And I actually think that's showing in my performances now. We've got a lot of work to do to, to move football forward in terms of homophobia and the, the chants that go on in the stands. And I suppose it's all about education, isn't it? And educating people that being gay isn't a choice. It's, it's something that just happens. And, you know, it's, it's not a choice I made. It's something that, you know, I realised when I was about 15 and 16 and, and I've lived my life that way since then. Um, yes, I decided to come out recently and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm comfortable with myself and I'm in a relationship where I feel, you know, happy enough to do that. But I think that the FA and I think all clubs now are taking steps and measures to try and, you know, combat homophobia and try and make people more comfortable. You know, I've been massively supported by the FA um, through this whole process. So, you know, it's been fantastic for me. I've been supported by my club too. I think, you know, they are looking at ways to try and to try and target homophobia and, and eradicate it from the game, same as they do with racism. And, you know, it's about educating people from an early age, really, and, and making sure that everybody is aware that, that we're all different as people. Campaigns like that, they just raise the issue. And if you can raise the issue and get people talking about it, then you can start to educate people. And it just brings the, the issue to a higher profile. It's massive to have campaigns like that, to, for me, to, to, to try and eradicate you know, any prejudices from the game. Because to address abuse and discrimination, we need the best evidence available. And so we want you to report it. I think it's really important that you report discrimination because if it's not reported, how do you know about it and how do you target those people and how do you stop it happening? You've got to challenge behaviours and unless you challenge those behaviours, you can't stop it. Football is, is becoming more accepting and it's just about taking those steps. I think you have to be ready. Coming out is a very personal thing, but you know I can only speak from personal experience. It's been a really positive experience for me.